Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunken Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? Oh. On a riverboat? <laughs> okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and have you some stuff. Let's see, that's what I was. Damn it, feet. Let's get going. Watch yourself. You're simply not a gentleman. My friend. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously, oh, yeah, because I look yeah. like that milk out there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a Shoot bottle a off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very, Very silly. silly. The man the is a moron. moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <laughs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. You boys are so silly. Shoot the wretch! Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. Excellent. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults! Uh, shoot me! Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? You two, come along. There are two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, you are too much. Oh, brother. Yeah, 
so stand sent to me.
My life's work. It is incredible. <laughs> what? He's a mad scientist, all right. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. 
Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. I think that it's Greek. Hello, mister. Hey. Hey there, Roman. Oh, do you have the time there? The man simply can't That's far too modern for my taste. Okay, thanks anyway. He's just a terror. It's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you paint some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes of civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. Well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. Henry, is that your behind? Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mom. As nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, Bitch. You built me in a man. Come on, horse. We are leaving. I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, man. These fools. Look at the cigars here. It was not. 
Archie Jess people pushed him. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a fraud. You did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Okay. Change your mission. For one moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Tacitus <laughs> How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat? Perhaps. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Yeah, be careful with the China, sir. It is French. Not Belgium? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? Sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 eager Fifteen. Good ones, obviously. Also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Oh, Ryan. Surely. I think the egrets are down here. Okay, well, Jim Boy can't wait next. Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Ooh, that's real kind. I lost my money playing poker. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, real. Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Well, I'll keep that in mind. Hey, 
help you become exceedingly rich by my book. Read my book. It's the wisest investment you'll ever make. Hello, sir. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Yeah, don't buy the big fan. What's up? Bronzy skin. You can be like me and all the other rich fellas at the club. You went over your head in the town, the huh? It's working for a living. Come and laugh at people with me. It's fair enough. I'm trying to help you get ahead. Help yourselves buy the book. It explains how to make money using a patented system. It's very simple stuff. I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. <laughs> oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect it. Any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I thought that sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Callum. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as you share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. I'm somebody! And I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way it works. Damn you, Zero Eleven! You're a snake! Damn you! Damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't, I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm a kill both of you. Calm down. I'm a legend. Yes, you are. All right, all right. Well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with words. Yeah. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should we kill Plato here! Right now. <laughs> let, let's know. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousins. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. You know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> Let's get back and do some great work. Howdy. Hello there. Hey there, mister. How you doing? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Howdy. 
Howdy, fellas. Hey, partner. Uh, it's quite a ride up to Honesburg. So I think I'll cut to there. Dude, I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Coming back? Sure. When he catches them fellers he's been after. How long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> Cut a bit closer. Birds of prey only using a tomahawk. What the hell? The tree over here. Hey, over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming there. I've been praying for someone like you to come, son. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal, Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. okay, let's get let's you get out of here. here. Yes, indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. Might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just 
Sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, he gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Gallo. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Absolutely cold. Well, that settles that then. Shut up. I shall be goddamn back! When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down, who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sick scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Wow. I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! God damn it. I just try and find the rare queue. Now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't know you start now. No, I'm not starting. I'm, I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. He was pretty wild. I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry, I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did, in the back, after he, mortally wounded, Slim Grant, fair and square. Yeah, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. I think I'll lose it for the 
there's more of them now, I don't Freaking in here. That's fine. Okay, right, so oh, we've got Galloway's Lotus. Let's get him edit. Oh, I send the call it. This guy was hanging for a tree. Every other time a guy's been hanging for a tree, somebody's coming to ambush me. jumped in the swamps and this is you get a message a mail postage from the mayor saying they 
there is that you stole a document that he wants to meet you. At night. Okay. Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Uh, I forget. Quite. Quite. Welcome, Welcome to government. government. Democracy. <laughs> An interesting idea. Yeah. Monsieur Lemieux? Oh, hello, hello friend. friend. Hello. hello. Passing Pass is Kilgore. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. okay. Now, now, you are not going, going to rob, rob me again, me. are you? No. no. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? No, but you are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Art. And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. He is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city, and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that in the jeopardy. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. Yeah, I think I just came through. There, Mr. Yeah, Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Professor Schiffdecker. very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> That's a big claim. 
One that's gonna upset a lot of people, myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. It's really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping me, really. You know I'm right, Professor. Please. Not get me upset with you again. No, 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 no sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. Play my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. So, turns out, all those pains were real after all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. I shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Here, the mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 